What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time joining me today, my name is Noah Cavanaugh and I'm a pro soccer player from Seattle, Washington. Before we hop into the video, really quick, check the description box below because if it is prior to the 26th of June, we will be having a 3,000 subscriber Zoom call. All the information is down below. So make sure you go check that out. Now in today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be building a resume from the ground up for you guys. You can use really two different programs. You could use kind of the pages and Word document or you can use a program called Canva, which is an online platform. I'm not sponsored by them. This isn't a paid thing, but this is what I use for all of my thumbnails, most of my Instagram content, as well as any sort of resume building or other projects. And it's totally free. So that's why I'm recommending it to you guys. It's actually something I use. And again, I'm not being paid for this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into my computer and start going through the process of building a resume. We're going to talk about what you need to put in there, what types of headshots you want for your pictures, what information you want, all your contact details, et cetera, et cetera. So without further ado, guys, let's hop into the video. All right, guys, so first things first, we're going to log into Canva and I will show you what that looks like right now. So we'll just get into Canva. And as you can see down here at the bottom, all of my thumbnails are down here. So we will get out of there. And then all we're gonna do is search resume. So I've already done it here. So we're gonna search resume on Canva and look at that. So we've got a ton of different options for what a resume looks like. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something really, really easy. It's a free one. I'm just gonna click here and then we are going to get into this resume. So as you can see right now, it's obviously got a picture. It's got predetermined colors and all of this kind of made up stuff, if you will, for the resume. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna edit through all of this and then I'll explain what you need to go through and put in your resume. So now we have the top bar, we've got a photo, we've got big, my name in big headlines. You wanna make sure that it looks really clean and it's also super easy to read. So whether you don't want like super, super bright colors, you're not looking for like Christmas colors, like a red and a green, you're looking for black and white, dark blue and white, maybe a red and white, um, but I would keep it really neutral colors so somewhere in the blue dark dark blue dark purple or black for the background of that top part and then white or the opposite obviously you can do an all white piece of paper with black writing so as we jump into this as well I want to talk about what the what things you need so all you need is literally a computer with internet and you need a phone for the phone you all you're doing is taking a headshot you want to make sure sort of like my setup here you've got two, maybe even just an overhead light or natural lights, probably the best way to do this. Make sure you're up against a neutral background. Obviously, if there's a little texturing, kind of like this blanket here, that's totally fine, but you really wanna make sure that it's super neutral. There's no distractions in the background. You don't have any massive logos on your shirt or anything. In my case, I've got my own personal logo. That's totally fine. If you have your club crest right there, that's awesome as well, especially if you're giving that to a coach who's gonna be at a showcase, they can much easily uh, uh, much more easily recognize you with that shirt on. So as you guys saw, obviously from this clip, what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna fast forward some of the work and then it, I will be back in just a second once we finished this walkthrough and once I've totally redone this resume. And what I'm gonna do is I'm then gonna explain all of the different elements that I have on here, why they're important and why you should put them in your resume as well. Again, Canva is totally free. You can easily upload stuff. I've had this account for almost two years now and it's been fantastic for all sorts of content. So you can use it for this and or other stuff. And I'm only telling you this because this is the program that I use. So we'll be back in just a sec. All right, we are back in. I have finished kind of a rough draft of what something would look like. Again, I've put random contact information other than my email in there, um, plus some references as well that are not like actual references. They're just my name in different ways. So here we go. So we're gonna hop into this really quick. So as you can see on the screen, you've got my brand colors. For some of you who don't have like a personal brand or colors, totally, totally fine. You don't need to have that stuff. It's literally just because I run a YouTube channel and have a website and all that stuff. So it's much easier for me to say, hey, this is me, it's recognizable, whatever. So what I did was I put those colors on top. Again, really simple. It's a dark blue, put my logo in the right hand top corner. And then I've got pro footballer Noah Cavanaugh. Really easy to read, really big and bold letters there. 
this headshot is actually really great because all it is is a black t-shirt, white background, and then my face. And that's all it is, super straightforward, and that's what you want. You want something that's really easy to see and a coach can recognize you from your photo. Um, so you can either do a smiling photo or you can do a kind of more serious photo, but just make sure either do a selfie and sort of hold your phone out like this and kind of get your arm out of the way so it looks very natural like the one on this picture, or you can get a friend or something like that to take a photo at school or somewhere else. So as we move down, we've got the contact info right here. Again, you want your mobile and your email as well as a link to your highlight video. That's something that I didn't put in here, um, but you definitely wanna make sure there's a link to the highlight video on there so that a coach can manually type it in, but it's also something that you wanna send in the email itself. So when you email somebody and you say, here is my resume, and you should have the link to the highlight video on Vimeo, YouTube, whatever platform you use. Now, to the left of this, we'll go down the left-hand side. You've got a player profile, and that is one to two sentences of something about you. So I said, a technically gifted outside back slash winger who has fantastic stamina, dangerous crossing, and the ability to distribute, play, and shoot with both feet. So that's a true statement. Um, all of that stuff are attributes of my game, and I can. it's a little blurb that just says, this is who I am as a player, this is how I identify, this is how I play, etc. We move down to player profile, and that is just your date of birth, height, weight, nationality, position, and if you have a preferred foot, right or left, throw that in there as well. So that's like the player profile. Just gives a little blurb of a bio about who you are. Moving down from there, you've got a little section of achievements. So that's awards you've won, teams you've been able to play for that won championships. Um, so the stuff that I have is we won the... EPL Washington championship back in 2017 with the Seattle Stars. Um, I was all West second team in college, player of the year, first team, all that's honorable mention, all that stuff. So you put that stuff in there. I was captain of the Rockingham City team, so I'll put that in there as well. Um, so just things that you want to highlight as leadership, awards and other things that are really prestigious about your career. Now we move over to the big section and this one's really important to nail down really well and that's your transfer history. So you can call it transfer history, history. you can call it uh, previous teams, however you wanna frame it, but it's really simple and it makes it super easy to read have the team that you most recently played for at the top and then go back in time. You don't wanna put high school first and have your this coach have to go through the entire list. You wanna have your most recent team at the top. So 2021, Rockingham City, 2020, Fremantle. I played for two teams in 2019, um, LA Force and then Pac Northwest U23s. I was in Spain the year before that, Denmark, and Seattle the year before that, and then obviously played college for four years. So that's how you go back. If you're my age and you're wanting to get into the professional game, do not put your high school team, do not put the club team, unless you play for an academy, that's fine. And, or if you're you have a really prestigious club team, that's fine. If you're younger and you're going to college, absolutely put your club team. That's really, really important. So if you played for one club team your entire life, no problem. Just put that's the one club team that I played for and I've scored this many goals and whatever. So if you have less teams, you're okay to put stats. I wouldn't actually put that under achievements. I might throw that under a bulleted list underneath if you have less teams. So for, in my case, because yeah, okay, I had tons of goals for college and I scored uh, a goal and had multiple assists for Fremantle. Um, same with Pac Northwest, U23s, Real Union, um, my Danish team, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not gonna put those in because I need that space to cover the different places that I've played and that's first priority. And it's no problem if you don't have that many teams because it's actually probably better to stay for at a team for a long period of time if it's a good situation and it's a high level. But if you don't have that, just make sure you're putting stats underneath. So you say games played, games started, goals, assists, uh, I'm captain of this team, however it works for you. And then at the very bottom, you can have a references list. I wouldn't have it more than two or three. Uh, and that is something that is uh, can be really overwhelming for a coach. So if I'm looking at it as a coach, I say, holy cow, you know, this is this is something that I, I just need one or two people to call. What I would do is I would say, if I'm the coach and say I coach at, uh, let's just say Fremantle City, right? So if I go into that uh, references page, I should see Noah Cavanaugh in parentheses, Fremantle City FC, 
and then phone number and email. You can do both, it makes it really easy. So those are all the technical aspects of what you want in a resume. It's really important to get all of those things in and make sure you have the best possible chance of getting the attention of a scout, a coach, and this is something that you wanna be updating every single time you have a new season and a new year. So if you're, uh, if I was at Rockingham City this year, if I hadn't gotten injured, I would've put my goal stats, I would've put captain, I would've put all that stuff. But because I left early, and yes, I can still put captain because that I was a leader on that team and I was a captain on that team, um, but I wouldn't put any other stats because I was only there for about four, three, four months. So if that makes sense, that is sort of the baseline of what the resume looks like and that is how you build a resume. In the end of all this stuff, I know this kind of can be really complicated. Again, I recommend Canva and I will say it a third time, I am not sponsored by them, but I think they have the easiest platform to just literally drag and drop. You can different size things without having to highlight everything and do different font sizes and whatever. And they have a ton of customizable platforms that are ready to go. So you can just click and then insert all your information and then download it and then it's good to go. So it's super, super easy. And again, a CV slash resume Resume, they're the same thing in soccer. All you have to do is get a snapshot of who you are as a player, where you've played, and what your best qualities are. Once you have that, then the coach can say, yeah, awesome. I really am interested in this player. They'll click on the highlight video and or they'll read it and watch the highlight video at the same time. And it creates a really great uh, starting point for where that coach can get a really good indication of who you are as a player. And then obviously watching that highlight video is a great way for them to get that stuff moving forward. So that is basically it for the CV slash resume building. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I know this was a really quick run through, but hopefully this gives you a good idea of how to build your resume. It's super easy to do. It is totally free on this program and you can download it in a big PDF format so that it's easy to send to different coaches and really easy to read on a phone as well. You can upload it to Google Drive, etc. So that is it for the video, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you didn't mind, smash that subscribe button. Like the video if you got value from it. As always, guys, be awesome. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.